What's up guys, welcome back. We haven't checked out Gavin Harrison in quite a while, so I wanted to check out this uh, this drum solo that he did on David Letterman, and this is from 11 years ago. But let's go ahead and check this out and see what he's got Beautiful for us today. Beautiful, Paul, thank you. All right, well, okay, now, uh, now I, I you never know watched or not, David we're Letterman. well into a drum solo week two uh, here on the, the Late Show. It's been a fantastic experience, and it's fun. It's just fun, and I, I, I don't care what you people at home are doing. Well, a little bit. Uh, it's just fun because we've had uh, the creme de la creme, funny. as they say in the creme business, and uh, we, we started with uh, Anton and uh, run the everybody, anybody who's anybody on any drums. Any drummer who is yeah. any drummer. And look at this right there. That's fantastic. Maybe I should just skip and, to the drum uh, It's going to be great. He is a talented musician, Ooh, there best he is. known as the drummer for the band Porcupine Tree, and his current uh, CD, I have a copy of it right here, entitled Circles. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Gavin Harrison. Gavin! Let's get it. Man, that footwork over there. So I've been trying, like, I have a lot of trouble um, doing the hi-hat and the kick drum at the same time. Um, my left foot is just, like, struggling to uh, get the hi-hat moving. But um, we're getting there eventually. But I just like watching him do it the way he does it. Um, two separate beats on both feet. Crazy, man. And he's doing shit with his hands, too. He's crashing those high hats, not just uh, chicking them. <laughs> I love when drummers do this stuff, man. Um, hold on, let's go back one more time. The thing with the snare and. using these instruments to their full capability. Sorry, kept talking over that one more time, sorry. Just so musical with it, man. Hold on, did he like blow air into it? Wow, that's cool. Show him some double bass. Hold on, he's like whipping from the snare to another song. Kind of like we've seen uh, L.S. Depario do. Is that bleed? 
Is he basically doing bleed, uh, the kick drum part and bleed to a drum solo on David Letterman? I think that might be bleed. If any of you guys know, let me know. Nothing is more satisfying when a drummer goes off and then lands right back in the pocket. Double bass and jazz? Let's fucking go, man. Only Gavin Harrison. Yeah, okay. I don't really care about what he's going to say. But, um, man, anyways, Gavin fucking Harrison, man. I love watching this dude play. He's just magnificent all around. Um, he's got like infinite amount of drum fills in that brain of his. And uh, I love that he like brings double bass into jazz and other genres and stuff like that. And he um, he doesn't overdo it or anything. He just does it so flavorful and just right. And uh, man, I just love that he really uses double bass and stuff that I don't see a lot of people using it in. And uh, he does it so good, and it's so, it just, it's perfect, so. I would consider him just an all-around drummer, like he can play any, any genre, jazz, metal, uh, rock, funk, whatever, anything you can throw at him, the dude can just blend in everywhere. He's got that monster kit, uh, he knows exactly which genres need uh, certain types of fills and certain types of sounds or whatever. I mean, and look what he's doing right there with the, uh, you know, pressing, you know, pressing down on the head, but also like, Moving his hands so where the you hear the tone uh, changed in tuning and all that. Then he's blowing air into the floor tom, which I guess also uh, pushes out the drum head, makes the the tuning different. Which I I've never seen anyone do that before. Um, <laughs> I couldn't imagine them doing that in a song or anything, but it's just really cool to see someone do it in a drum solo. And yeah, I mean that's what solos are for, right? To to show off everything the drums can do. And I love that he just incorporated everything. I mean, he's got like that whip right there where he's whipping from the snare to another tom and basically a triplet or like a double. And I just love it, man. And he's throwing double bass in there. Now, some of those people in that crowd, they never even heard double bass before. And they're like, oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> but um, anyways, what would you guys think about this drum solo? Let me know in the comment section below. Love Gavin Harrison. You got any more videos we should check out from him? Let me know. We'll do that in the future. Um, it's been a minute since I checked him out, so it's really nice to check him out again. And, uh, oh, I love those little splashes or whatever those things are called. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't seen our other reactions or my other, I always say that like the video is ours, not just mine, but yours and mine, because this is, uh, we're just enjoying other, uh, musicians out there. Right. So, but anyways, I have other reaction videos to, uh, Gavin Harrison that should be popping up right here. And check those out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next video.